Sanwanani, Dumelang, Molweni. My name is Rafila Mwashudi, and I am the author of this story called How the Elephants Saved Summer. I hope you enjoy it. The baobab is an African treasure with its roots at the top as if its heart is on the outside. The baobab is big with a very big heart. All are welcome to take refuge in, over or under the tree. All except elephants. The elephants are not invited to the winter waltzes. They never hear of the autumn affairs. They miss out on the spring soirees and are always left behind during the summer socials. They don't complain. It has been so for at least a thousand years. They trot right past the merriment on their way to the dam. Until one summer, when everything changed. No matter how much dancing the locals did, the sky refused to cry. You see, the sky works a little differently. It is not sad things that make the sky cry, but good things, celebrations. That summer, however, no matter how festive the fiestas, there was still no tears. The locals were thirsty. The locals were hungry. There was nothing left to celebrate. One day, Esi, the youngest elephant, branched away from the herd and found herself at the baobab tree. Why don't we ever get invited to the parties? asked Esi. Well, uh, you see, mumbled the baobab. Elephants are no good for baobab trees. Why? asked Essie. Because elephants can destroy us. The tree replied. Why? she asked again. Legend has it, if they eat our bark, we may fall over, the baobab replied. What? That's silly. You're the biggest tree in all the land. Why would you fall over when others don't? giggled Essie. Oh, I don't know. It does sound silly now that I've said it out loud. The baobab chuckled. Essie and the baobab talked about all kinds of other silly things, like how an elephant's nose is called a trunk, and a baobab's bottom is also called a trunk, so one can smell the other. That one made them laugh the most. Who has the strongest trunk? They challenged each other, and that's how the wrestling began. As Essie wrapped her trunk around the baobab's trunk, the baobab stood its ground. Essie drew in a large breath to summon her strength. And something else happened. Her trunk filled up with what smelled like tears. The baobab's trunk was filled with sky tears. That evening, Essie, with help from her herd, was able to suck out all the tears from the baobab's bark without chewing it all up, as the fears of legend said, and store it in their trunks. They carried enough sky tears in their trunks to fill the dam. Everyone celebrated. The baobab provided refuge once again, but this time with some help. Everyone remembered how the elephant saved summer by rediscovering the secret power of the baobab, absorbing tears from the sky. From that day on, not only were the elephants invited to the parties, they were the life of the party. So much so that the sky began to cry. The end. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this story, How the Elephants Saved Summer.